Okay. Now can you hear me better? Cause my throat. <coughs> my throat go in and out. Anyway, let's talk about. What should we talk about? Let's talk about R. Kelly's situation. Or any situation. Can you even call it a situation? But anyway. Let's talk about R. Kelly's foolishness. Okay? Let's talk about his foolishness for a while quick. I don't understand why these women allow this man. I'm... My voice hurts so bad right now. <coughs> Let me talk about this man. Now, the world knows that R. Kelly been raped. Okay? Again, that's not an excuse. But, excuse me. The world know he got raped when he was a child. According to his brother, according to his brother, I tell his sister, his biological sister, raped him when he was young. And she did not show him mercy, not one bit. Now, now, the age of, let's, Continue. The age of 27. I can't really find a way to take his pain and put on these young girls that is actually the true victim of him and some of these women are not actually the true victim. So, if you know dang but this man got money, you will go to him because he has money. Right? Okay. I don't give a dang how much money you have. Ain't no world in the hell. Not hell. Hell. Let me face my hair. Oh, I need to wash my hair anyway. Ain't no way in the hell I will go to your house because you got money. I don't care how much music you wrote. I don't care how much time I see you on television. I don't care how nice and fancy your car is. Or fancy your house is. That way there, I don't give two dang about this crap. Now, I Kelly 27, going to these schools. To find young girls he can not betray, but betray. Because he was young and got betrayed by his sister. So he felt like my sister raped me. And then not only my sister, but my uncle as well. Whoever his family else that literally raped him. He felt like if y'all can rape me. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my pain and revolved it to other young girls that really deeply is fully in love with me. Now, some of these girls are wrong for that. They are wrong for that. Wrong for this. Ain't no way. I'm going to bring my family member <coughs> to this man so he can pee on my family member. That is the nasty, the sickest thing any human being on God going earth can do a crap like that. That's nasty. Now. Then, that's not all. Then you want to hide that you are gay. Why you can't just come to the public to say that you was gay? Now come on now. You you wanna you wanna put aside that you straight, knowing for a fact you gay. That you had a man the whole time, son. Come on now. 
Who cares? If you was gay, that won't bother nobody. But you hide it. So these girls can see, hey, I'm going to treat you wrong with me and my boyfriend. And if I'm not happy, I want to bring more female in so me and my boyfriend can go half and half. Now, he's wrong for that. That's nasty. Now you let these women put stuff in your booty hole. Now you went from nasty to sick. That's just nasty. And sick. And disturbing. At the same time. Ladies. Open your dang eyes. And look. Look, look, look at this situation. See, our Kelly story. It should open your face. And parents, who give a dang if your child say, Mom, let me go see our Kelly and I want him to be, uh, I want him to help me doing music. No, for a fact, this man is do not even help anybody to do music. He never did. He's lying. How a man gonna help your daughter do music? He don't know how to read or write. Come on now. All the things that this man ever opened his mouth and said was lies, lies, lies. And y'all fell for that. I looked it on YouTube. And he said it. It's not in my place. That your daughters. Are lying to you. So they can go see him. But y'all fell for it. And these teachers. Knowing dang well. That man not even supposed to be parking in them schools. But y'all let him. Y'all are disturbing. Y'all just worse than they are killing. Worse than they are killing. Y'all should go to jail for that. And then, some of these women... I'm not victim shaming. So don't come to me and say, Oh, Matilda, you victim shaming these women. Da, 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 da. No, I'm not. I'm telling you that ain't true. I don't care how much money that man got in his pocket. I don't care how much money that the music industry pay him. I don't care how much money that he got in the bank account. That on that 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 right there do not interest me one dang bit. It shouldn't give me no excuses. To be a 27-year-old man. To park by the school. Picking these young girls up. Knowing dang well. Y'all are not helping them with doing not a freaking thing about music. Y'all are just human trafficking their behind. And these parents. And you lying to these parents. Knowing for a fact. You doing a call behind their parents back. Not knowing that half of these people. That is actually the victim. You took their use away from them. You should not come out of jail, bro. You shouldn't. No. All right, Kelly. You need help. You have a sick mindset. And I don't know what the hell you get that from. I don't know if the devil himself was talking to you. Or you sold your soul, or, or you, 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 Satanism, crap, whatever you do. I don't know. I really, to the point in my life right now, I don't care. You should go to jail. Anybody that backing you up should go to jail. Music industry should go to jail for that, too. Teachers should go to jail. Uh, The people that work with R. Kelly should want to jail, too. 
And then plus some of these girls that is not a victim. That literally took them behind to his house. Had sex with him. And had sex with these young girls. Y'all behind should go to jail too. Y'all should have. Y'all should have. Y'all should And these mothers. And these parents. How dare you. Calling yourself a mother. You're not a mother. I'm not going to say excuse me either. Because I'm not going to apologize for what I just said. You're not a mother. Because if you was a mother. You will not sell your daughter for money. You will not sell your daughter for fame or fortune. In my eye. You are not a mother. You're just disturbing as hell. You're just disturbing as hell. You wrong, R. Kelly wrong, teachers wrong, principals, people that work with him was wrong. Y'all just allow this man to do this. No, and dang well, he did this to Aaliyah. Why in the world? Okay, you work with this man, but you know he's doing these things to these women. You know he treat them like crap. You know this stuff, man. You know he treat girls like crap. But he's paying y'all. So when money comes, I'ma stay silent. I don't give a dang. Bump the money. Bump the money. I'm about to let my conscience hit me. And knowing for a fact, I know what I'm, I'm, no, I'm, I'm seeing, I know what I'm seeing, and I'ma just like, lie, I, I'ma like, you know, I'ma let it slide. So because I'm working for this man, that mean I'm, um, getting paid. Hell no. Hell no. Would you like it if he did that to your niece and nephew? Would you like it? If he did that to your niece, or your daughter, or your sister, or your friend, neighbor, your friend, would you like it if he did that to your neighbor children? You would not like it, would you? Okay, how the heck you gave him the audacity to do stupid crap like that, and y'all kept this crap serious silence? For how many years? 20 years? Now, why do y'all decide it now? To tell his story. If y'all kept this thing secret for 20 years. Y'all should have left the secret. Why y'all decided not to tell them. He tell, these, he tell the world that his story. Because he's broke. That's why you want to tell him now. That's how you. Now y'all want to put him out, out here in the public. Y'all wrong for that. Wrong. Y'all should.